Hi guys! Welcome to ACTV. So, for this video, ang pag-aaralan natin is the proof of the midline theorem. At the end of this video, we should prove the midline theorem. Okay? So, first, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin pag sinabi natin midline theorem? So, yung midline theorem states that the segment that joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and half as long. Okay, so let's try to prove this theorem. So, let's have this one for the midline theorem. We are given triangle H and S. So, triangle na to. And that O is the midpoint of H and and E is the midpoint of NS. So, we need to prove that OE is parallel to HS. And that the measure of OE is just half the measure of HS. Okay, so let's have this proof. So for number one, we are given the triangle H and S. O is the midpoint of H N, and E is the midpoint of N S. So we all know that number one is the given. Okay, for number two, in array opposite E O, ito ang array na to, that is opposite E O, there is a point E such that O E is equal to E T. So, the segment OE is congruent to segment ET. For what reason? Line postulate. Okay, line postulate states that two points determine a line. Okay, next, number three. So, we are given that EN, so asan yung EN na to? This one, the segment EN is congruent to segment ES. What reason? So, we have the definition of a midpoint. Since according sa given natin, E is the midpoint of NX. Okay? Next, we have angle 2. So, yung angle na yun, itong angle 2, is congruent to angle 3. So, for what reason? We have the vertical angle theorem. So, we all know that all vertical angles are congruent under the vertical angle theorem. Next, so for number 5, we have proved that triangle O and E, this triangle, is congruent to triangle T, S, E. This one. So for what reason? We have the SAS postulate or the side angle side postulate. Since we proved natin that O, E is congruent to E, T, angle 2 to angle 3, and E, N is congruent to E, S. Okay? Next, so we have angle 1 is congruent to angle 4. For what reason? So we have CPCPC or the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay? Next, for 7, we have segment HN, this one, is parallel to ST. Okay? So for what reason? So this is the converse of the alternate interior angle theorem. Okay? Next. We have OH is congruent to ON. So, this segment OH is congruent to this segment ON. For what reason? We have the definition of a midpoint since O is the midpoint of HN. Okay? So, next, we have ON is congruent to TS. So, for what reason? We have CPCPC or again, the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay, so next, we have OH. So we have segment OH is congruent to segment ST. For what reason? So transitive property from statement numbers 8 and 9. So sabi dito, since OH is congruent to ON and ON is congruent to TS, therefore we can also say that OH is congruent to ST under the transitive property. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, let's have statement number 11. So we are given that quadrilateral HOTS is a parallelogram. So we have this quadrilateral HOTS. This is a parallelogram under the statement, if opposite sides of a quadrilateral are congruent and parallel, then it is a parallelogram. Okay, since... HO is congruent to ST or TS. Okay? Next, OE, this segment, this one, OE is parallel to HS. Okay? Under what reason? The definition of a parallelogram in which any two opposite sides are parallel. 
Okay, next. We have OE, this one, segment OE, plus segment EP is equal to segment OP. Itong line na to, segment na to, at yung segment na to, pag pinag-add daw natin ay yung buong segment na to. So, under what reason? Under the segment addition postulate. Okay? Next, we have segment OE plus segment OE is equal to segment OP. Under what reason? Substitution. So, from, that's from statement numbers 2 and 13. Since OE is equal to ET, therefore, we can substitute ET here by OE. Okay, since they are equal. Okay, next. We have 2 OE is equal to OT. Under what reason? Addition property. So, we just add OE and OE. So, meron na tayong dalawang OE. Okay, next. We have HS. So, asan yung HS na to? This one. HS is congruent to OT. Under what reason? In a parallelogram, any two opposite sides are congruent since this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Okay? Next, number 17. We have 2OE is equal to HS. Under what reason? By substitution. From statement numbers 15 and 16. So, kung makikita natin dito, 2OE is equal to OT. But since, sabi ni number 16, HS is congruent to OT, therefore, we can substitute OT by HS. Okay? So, from here, if we're going to simplify this one by dividing both sides by 2, Therefore, we can get that OE is equal to half of HS by the division property. So, if we divide both sides by 2, we can get again OE is equal to half HS. Okay? So, na-prove natin that this segment, okay, in which O is the midpoint of HN and E is the midpoint of NS, this is just half of the measure of the third side H S. Okay? Again, that is the midline theorem which states that the segment that joins the midpoint of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and half as long. Okay? So, I hope you learned the proof of the midline theorem. So, thank you everyone and God bless us all.